This is the Corsair. You hear it referred to as 211 on screen a lot. At the Ericsson Aircraft Collection in Madras, a couple of warbirds sit tucked away in a corner of the hangar. That's the airplane Jesse was flying the day that uh, he was shot down in the Chosin Reservoir area. One of the 30 remaining F4U Corsairs in the world, and one of the last 15 AD4 Sky Raiders. It's a fun airplane to fly. Observed in the history books, then by Central Oregon visitors. And now, on the silver screen. Leading up to the movie, it, it was a very undertold story. A couple of years ago, Hollywood called on Jim Martinelli and his colleague Mike Oliver. A request for them to fly their vintage planes in the movie Devotion, starring Jonathan Majors, which tells the story of Jesse Brown, the first African-American aviator in the U.S. Navy. The project in itself was close to us in the sense that uh, 2016, we decided to paint uh, the Corsair as Jesse Brown's Corsair, the Corsair that resides here in the collection and is part of the movie. And we decided to do that just because it's such an undertold story Filming began in January 2021 and ran through April between Wenatchee, Washington and Savannah, Georgia. Oliver flew the Corsair for much of the film, while Martinelli took the Sky Raider. I was the only Sky Raider pilot in the film, uh, but they replicated the airplane digitally uh, so that it looks like there's many of us, but in fact, it was just me. When he wasn't in the air, Martinelli worked as a mechanic on set, keeping the stars in the sky and witnessing the action they came away with right more than here. a few memories. Inside the airplane, we had, uh, that's Jonathan Majors sign the airplane. That's actually Pam Brown, who is Jesse's daughter. A star-studded experience hitting especially close to home. Mike Oliver, our, who did most of the flying in, in Jesse Brown's airplane, is African-American. And so not only with the airplane painted that way, but just with the connections and with their, it just, the story is real close to us and uh, it was really cool. Jesse Brown was killed in 1950 after his plane was shot down during the Korean War, but through the film, his high-flying heroism lives on. This guy was by himself. I mean, he had to have been the toughest guy that ever walked. I hope people take away how far we've grown since then and uh, to pay attention pay attention to history because history does repeat itself. The planes are back home in Madras, now pieces of history from both the sky and the screen. Carly Olson, Central Oregon Daily News.